Okay, so I've been asked to solve some stuff from student assessment six. I'm going to work through all of these separately and then put them together at the end. So just a reminder, the first thing we're going to do with this when there's brackets, we have to multiply our powers. So this becomes four to the power of negative two quarters, which is the same as one half. So I'm just going to write it like that. So this is negative half times. Now remember the rule with this is we use the bottom as the square root. So this is a squared. And then we have to do all of it to the power of whatever number is on the top. And then same thing here. Um, this just means that, um, well, this means the square root, right? So I'm just going to rewrite it as a square root. And all we do is square root top and bottom here. Now this means that should be on the bottom, right? To the power of negative half means it should be to the power of a half on the bottom. So this square root of nine is three, three cubed. Then on the bottom, let's bring that down. So this four to the power of a half is the square root. Remember we just talked about times the square root of one quarter. All right, let's go up here. Okay, so three cubed is 27 over square root of four, which is two times the square root of one over four. So square root top and bottom, you end up with one half. 27 over two times a half is just one. So your answer is 27. All right, I'm gonna stop and make another video for the next one. All right, this time we're gonna look at student assessment six, question two H. So again, I'm gonna solve each one of these things separately first before I try and put them together. So remember brackets means we should be multiplying our powers. So I just multiply straight across top and bottom. One times one is one, three times two is six. Then I've got my five to the power of five sixths. Now I've got this down the bottom. So four to the power of negative half means it's in the wrong place. So I'm gonna bring it up to the top as a positive power. And now I have nothing left on the bottom of my fraction. So that makes life a bit easier. Now remember, same base numbers. We're adding the powers together because we're multiplying. So one sixth plus five sixths is six sixths, which is just one, right? So I don't really need to write that at all because it's five to the power of one, which is five. Now remember half means a square root. So this is just five times two, which gives us 10. All right, please let me know if you're not sure what I mean by any of that stuff.